All right, you are welcome again. Let's take the last example on a linear differential equation. That is solution of ordinary differential equation that comes in form of linear equation. Okay, so let's take a look at this question. Evaluate the linear differential equation dy dx plus y times x equal to sine x. We are asked to evaluate this differential equation. dy dx plus y times x equal to sine x. We can see clearly that it is in a linear differential form. That is in the form of dy dx plus py equal to q. So comparing these two equations, we see that p is equal to tan x and q is equal to sine x. p is equal to tan x and q is equal to sine x. Now let's integrate p with respect to x. Integrating p with respect to s, that means we're going to have the integral of p dx. That is the integral of tan x dx. So when we integrate tan x, it's going to give us minus ln cos x. When we integrate tan x with respect to x, it's going to give us minus ln cos x. Okay, now let's go further and find the integrating factor. Then the integrating factor says e raised to power the integral of p dx. So that means here we're going to have the exponential raised to power minus ln cos x. We have e raised to power minus ln cos x. And then we say that it is the same thing as saying 1 all over e raised to power ln cos x okay so this e raised to power ln cos x is the same as saying cos x so here we have the integrating factor one all over cos x the integrating factor one all over cos x and then one all over cos x that is inverse of cos x is the same as saying sec x. 1 all over cos x, that is the inverse of cos x, is the same as saying sec x. Now let's go. So the solution to our differential equation is going to give us y multiplied by the integrating factor equal to the integral of q multiplied by the integrating factor dx. You get it right? Good. So here we have the integrating factor is sec x. So we're going to have y sec x is equal to the integral of our q is sin x multiplied by the integrating factor is sec x. Then we have dx. You get it? Right? Good. Now, here we have y sec x equal to the integral of. You remember that sec x is actually the inverse of cos right that means we say one all over cos and then when you say one all over cos times sin x that means we're going to have sin x all over cos x and then sin x all over cos x is the same thing as saying tan x so here we have the integral of tan x dx so here we have the integral of tan x dx so we integrate tan x is going to give us minus ln cos x plus c. We're going to have minus ln cos x plus c. So we want to make y the subject. We want to make y to stand alone. And then you discover that this sec x is the same thing as say 1 all over cos x. So let's multiply through by cos x. So we'll multiply both sides by cos x, we're going to have y is equal to minus ln cos x plus c in bracket cos x. Hello. 
we have minus ln cos x plus c in bracket cos x. So therefore, the solution to the linear differential equation that we have dy dx plus y tan x equal to sin x is equal to y is equal to open bracket minus lean cos x plus c close bracket cos x right yes thank you very much for watching let's take more example on Bernoulli equation see you there stay blessed